Good evening and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Tonight is gonna be a fun night. We're starting off the weekly vlog with an actually fun thing. It's not just me in my flat. Um, so tonight I'm co-hosting an event with my good friend Mira or Girl New York um, because she did a collaboration with Fresh. So we're gonna have a really fun event tonight. I'm really excited and it looks great. So we're in the wing right now, uh, which is kind of new to London. This is what the space looks like, which is super cute. By the looks of things, we're gonna be doing some drawing. And this is the product we are here to show some love. It's a caramel lip balm, which smells so good. Um, and Mira designed the packaging around it, which is so cool that she put her own spin on it. And it also comes with these stickers, so you can personalize your own little lip balm tin. The lady of the hour has Hello. arrived. Is that gonna focus on your face? There we go. That's my face. How's life, Mira? Life is good. I'm here with Fresh Beauty. Um, promoting my collaboration on the hydrating caramel lip balm. God, that's like quite the pitch. Where am I supposed to do that? Very professional, I love okay, it. Sorry. I'm normally like, I am here doing something and I don't know how to explain it well. Uh, but we're gonna have a very fun night. Yeah, we're gonna learn to draw. Estee's gonna learn to draw. I can't draw. I'm gonna teach you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna you. Okay. The music is cut, that's my cue. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Estee Lalonde. Um, I make content creator, and I'm here supporting my good friend Mira, otherwise known as Girl New York, who is an amazing tattoo artist? Tattoo artist? Yeah. Artist in general? I'm an illustrator. An illustrator. Um, and she has just done an amazing collaboration with Fresh. It's the caramel lip balm, which should be on the table. Um, it's a really cute collaboration, which we'll talk about very shortly. Um, First, I want to talk a little bit about how you and I met because we actually met through Fresh and I just want to say I'm such a huge fan of Fresh in general. I've been a fan of the brand for many years. The founders love and Alina. I always call my second parents. So anyways, and I'm happy that Fresh brought us together. Yes. I love Fresh. Um, I met Estee while she was getting a tattoo yes. and I was like, so we were just talking about beauty and I was like, I'm obsessed with Fresh. And she's yeah. like, they're going to call you. And I was like, yeah. that's a cool <laughs> prediction. <laughs> well, I think everybody's interested in tattooing whether or not you have them or not. Okay. Like, I, I don't know. I just put that on everybody. But I feel like people are because it's like you're putting something on your body forever. You know, it's scary. <laughs> it's not forever. It's just so you die. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I think something that I love about you and have really come to admire is you are so approachable and I think especially when you're getting your first tattoo it's like the most terrifying thing to walk into a tattoo parlor where it's like all these big scary dudes who are like covered head to toe and they're like looking at you like I don't know, that's actually happened to me several times. Yeah, no, that is a lot of people's experience. Yeah. It was a huge motivator for me in becoming a tattoo artist, was yeah. like <laughs> wanting to kind of change that storyline because a lot of women feel uncomfortable using their voice during that kind of experience. Yeah. And that's so important because you're changing your body forever. So you for have sure. to feel empowered to use your voice. Yeah. But I really wanted to empower women to use their voices in that during that experience. And um, I thought it would be like fun to get tattooed by someone who spoke your language. Um, For like sure. Understood fashion, understood aesthetic, understood yeah. jewelry, understood ornamenting. So I thought yeah. that would be fun. Good morning from me and this crazy dog. I just woke up, it's the morning, and I'm obviously not at home. I am in Kent right now at a place called Cabo Cabins, and uh, my zit has also joined us very annoying and painful so basically i have been wanting to come here for a long time i saw it on instagram it just looked so beautiful and i really wanted to get away i obviously haven't been away since i got little effie because she is very in need of her human mom so um yeah i wanted to find a place that was dog friendly that i could take her and not too far from london so yesterday i Got in the car, I rented a car, and I got in the car and put her in the back, put her in her little bed, and there are these little things called dog seat belts, so I could like strap her down so she was safe. 
um, and drove. It took like two hours to get here from London. Got here late-ish last night, like eight o'clock at night. It was so dark. But I didn't want to be vlogging all of that because Effie was quite nervous and she's never obviously been away and she hasn't been in a car for that long for a while. So I just wanted to like keep it calm and she doesn't love cameras although she's doing pretty well right now. So yeah, I, I've had this booked for a really long time, like maybe three weeks a month and I've been looking forward to it and yeah i'm gonna show you around the cabin but first i'm gonna show you what i made for dinner last night because it was so yummy <sighs> i've just arrived i have popped open a beautiful bottle of malbec yes and i'm going to be making this pasta which is my obsession it's this brand pasta evangelist Full disclosure, this was sent to me by the pasta place, but I have made so many orders myself with my own cash money money because I literally love this. I can't cook very well, and sometimes when I have people over, I want to be able to somewhat impress them with like some kind of a meal <laughs> that's like good, and this is the easiest way to make something that is so delicious, it's so fresh, like I've never had a complaint, okay? So I just want to say, this was sent to me, but and I'm not getting paid to mention it, and I've purchased it before myself. So, I chose a recipe that I wanted, so tonight I'm going to be making this. I have this item, and this item, and then some cheese to put on top. I've got my little queen down here, my little sous chef. Hi, baby girl. Hi, little baby. So, essentially, I've got the sauce warming up in here. And then inside here, I've got the pasta. I brought this little ladybird outside. It's pouring rain right now. This is the kind of like setup. That's a big giant pool. But right now I'm heading into the main cabin to get some breakfast supplies. So when you're here, they have this little shop, which is actually really convenient because if you forget something or you need something, they have everything here. Like they have loads of different drinks here. They have like really interesting, books. Um, a lot of these are in the room, um, but books about cabins and things like that. Little souvenirs and toys. I also really like that all the rooms have Dr. Bronner's stuff because I love Dr. Bronner's. Yeah, they have like little options for dinners and stuff, which is really handy. Um, and I'm here for the fresh OJ. I'm sure you're not surprised by that. Also for breakfast, they have these pastries and eggs and fruits and stuff like that. And obviously tea and coffee over there. I'm here to get some eggs and toast and maybe a pastry. So when you walk into the cabin, you will see Effie in the corner being nervous. And it has this really cute tiny little kitchen which has everything that you need. Then we have the living room which is a little bit messy because I've been hanging out in here. Um, but it's so cute. And as you can see, I brought all of Effie's little toys and you can you know start a fire you have this huge window um these couches are so comfortable i can't even tell you this is the bathroom which is super super cute i love the black shower head um my stuff i've just thrown in there for now but yeah and you get these little robes in here too which i'm going to be slipping into later i'm sure i've put effie's food bowls here and i just put these puppy training pads just because she is in a new environment and i just want her to not have any accidents, which she has not had yet, which is amazing, but better safe than sorry, I think. This room has little bunk beds, so if you had kids or something, this would be the perfect little room for them. It's really awful weather. <laughs> I chose the wrong weekend, I think, to come here because it's so windy and rainy. And then this is my bedroom where I've been sleeping, and this little one has been sleeping here too. Oh, she's so cute! <laughs> She's like, this blanket doesn't smell like home. Um, really comfy bed. I had the best sleep last night. My bedside essentials, if you're wondering, the By Terry Balm de Rose, best lip balm ever. And then I also have my Galanet hand cream, which I love. I never leave home without these two things. Just made myself a little breakfast. I can't wait to eat it. As you can see, I messed this egg up and I very heavily went at it with the butter on my toast. I'm really hungry. I have some tea and some orange juice, so I'm just gonna dig in, I'm starving. The rain stopped, so I decided to try and take this little one to the beach. 
I don't actually know how to get there, but we're gonna find out together. I've stumbled upon the hot tub, which I will be going into later, and there's also a sauna, which I will be indulging in as well. I wanted to show you this dress that I brought along. It's by Sleeper. Hey, little Sleeper. And um, I know it's like a bit extra, but I wanted to bring something that made me feel like cabin chic. And it's fun and it's really comfortable. Just got back from the beach. How did that go for you, lady? <laughs> I think she liked it. I don't think she loved it. I think she was like a little nervous. But it was cute, and she's just relaxing now. She's she's tired. I had to give her a little foot bath because she was a little bit dirty. Washed her stomach. Um, she's obviously very out of her comfort zone here, but um, she's also comfortable. Like she's she's doing great. I'm really proud of her. I also wanted to let you know which book I am currently reading, which is this one. It's called The Body Keeps the Score. It's a book that's been recommended to me by so many people. It basically just talks about trauma, the effects of trauma, what causes trauma, what happens to the body and the mind when someone has experienced trauma or inflicted trauma. Um, it's kind of interesting. It's definitely not like a light read, I wouldn't say, but it's very well written and easy to read. It's digestible, so that's good. Um, I'm making some food. I went to the shop and got a chicken pie. I love, I love chicken pie. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just reading and relaxing. I'm home now and I am having a gorgeous Sunday morning. I'm back from the beach and I'm gonna light a stick of this dragon's blood. I love having incense burning. As you can see, I've already burned a bunch. Um, so nice, sets the tone. I'm also watering my plants because this is what we do on Sunday mornings. 